Yes, my light up and now. My light up. How are this? How are this? Honey, 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 honey. Good old coco. Coco. A coco tea? Yes, I. Good old coconut milk. I tell you. Yes, I. I'm one hundred percent natural honey. So honey, this. Yeah, man. The good old. That's made with my honey. Thank you very much. Yes, it should be good. Mm. All, 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 everything is a hundred percent. Everything from nature. This are, this are the original, original, original Brother Moses. Yeah, man. Oh, is he everybody himself. This is me, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Natural, well, natural. Me, me show me here and say something about coconut. Something, something. Yeah, man, it's like a natural 100% coconut milk. I've never tried that before. Huh? Coconut milk, the chocolate. Oh, yeah. Two, 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 two. It's, um, the, the two of them is two brain food. Yeah, the coconut, um, the, 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 um, the chocolate is, um, is a brain, is, is a food for the brain. For the brain. Okay. So the chocolate is a food for the brain. Okay. And then mix it with the honey. And then you put the, the good old bees honey from, in, from the wild. And then you put the good old brain food again, the coconut milk, 100% brain food. If you have Alzheimer's, dementia, or you have memory loss, that replace it. Oh, that's So good. what more are you doing, yeah? <laughs> Why yes, why you tell them mm -hmm. what the father bless you with that means we can send them to your channel. Yes sir. All of the things that you can lick with any problem, knee problem, belly problem. Yes sir. You understand? So talk to them. Yes, my people. And make them know where you're the two. Yeah man. Blessing to each and every one. This is yeah. Brother Moses down here in Ghana, Mama Ghana, Mama Africa. Come down here to do the father work. Yes. We don't come to do Babylon work, we come to do the father's will. So if you have knee problem, you don't have to go do surgery. Tick. <laughs> if you have pop, spinal injury, Tick. you don't have to go and do any surgery, please. Because there's so much electrical wire running that spine. One mistake and you're crippled. Yeah, okay. But what if, 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 if them touch a wrong part? Just one mistake and cut one eye card. You're crippled for your life. So now, nature. Nature is the greatest. Healer. Mm. So once you go back to nature, so we get some herbs yeah. called the good, the good, uh, the good, the good, the good, the good, um, single Bible. We get some good one we call the leaf of life mm. and other herbs, ginger, the good old castor oil, and we put, combine them with some other herbs mm. and build back the nerves. Every nerve can build back. No matter how it damaged, it can build back. No matter what doctor said. No matter what doctor said. We can build it back. Pinch nerve, a one two. It's all in with a pain medication where we are taking, we don't need them. Because every, every pain comes from an inflammatory situation or inflammatory condition. Okay. So when you see bad boy and ginger and the bad boy turmeric and the bad boy garlic, just draw for them. You understand mm -hmm. me? Make a tea two, three times a day and kill the inflammation in your body. Or you can use it even on the areas where you have the pain. Mm -hmm. You understand? So if you want, if you want more information, but you don't have to come here to, to, to Mama Africa to True. come, come here to Mama. So all who afraid to come to Africa. Yeah, so you don't need to be afraid because I and I left, left America and down here and I do the father work. So I and I don't come down here with no money. Mm. But I live mm -hmm. because the father is a giver and the father is a taker. True. So anyway, if he send us, anywhere he send us, we can survive. If we can survive in America, we can survive in Mama Africa. Mm. Because Africa is a blessed place. It's not curse like what they might tell you. So but you have to come see it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes I. Mm -hmm. So if you want if you check out the channel, Brother Moses Healing Village. Or Brother Moses Ministry Healing Ministry. One out of the two. Mm -hmm. Or you can call me 954-955-7977. Mm -hmm. For more information. Diabetes is only one thing. Too much carbohydrates store in the body. Wow. 
So if you all you need to do cut down by your carbs or matter for cut off the carbs if you're serious about diabetes. Because so hold on, sorry um, brother, I'm sorry for cutting, but me, you know, for, for the listeners them, mm -hmm. so in order to, to, to if you're serious about it, mm -hmm. to cut off the carbs. Cut off the carbs for a couple but, of weeks. Some people are talking about diabetes, some people have diabetes and it comes like the diabetes hold them like prison. No man. Diabetes hold them like prison because every 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 sickness is a spirit. So it then become a slave to that spirit. Mm -hmm. So what, what I would call this sickness is demon. Mm -hmm. It's demonic. So you have to take control over that demon. So now don't tell me say yeah, if you if, if if diabetes is done with one simple thing, it's too much carbs in the body. How the doctor can tell us if you cut it down? No, too much in the body is look up little bit and too much is too much. True. So cut, cut it, it off for a while cut it and allow the body to use up the excessive. No, you don't go back to the same old you. So it don't matter who and who say my herbalist and they might give you something that might cure you for diabetes. You have to cure for yourself because you no know, matter what medication you take, even if it moves the, the environment and you create it back, you still have a sickness. True. So every sickness starts from an environment. Mm -hmm. So uh, today is not medication we need, we need education. So mm -hmm. if we know what we're fighting, we wouldn't, we wouldn't keep going to the, 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 the doctors. Mm -hmm. And the doctors we're going to sick like us too. So how we, how we say them a doctor? So diabetes is only one simple thing. It's too much carbohydrates to up in the body. So if you stop eating the carbs for a little while, clean the digestive system, or even go up on a fasting for a couple of weeks, the di and the diabetes will leave most people. Some people have it bad that might be maybe half it for a couple of weeks, maybe six weeks to eight weeks. Some people two weeks, four weeks, and then diabetes gone. Just by even just stop eating the starch and just drink some green juice with some ginger and lemon and you and diabetes go. And yet still we continue, we live all our life on medication. And, and now medic and now the medication are gonna destroy us. Because the medication we're taking destroy the nerves in the foot and destroy the nerve in the hand. So when most time when we well most time when we have this nerve damage and doctor says it's diabetes, I beg to differ. I don't agree. Because if you read the medication you're taking, it will tell us that it destroys the nerves in the foot and in the body. So how the doctor blames uh, the diabetes? A lot of people have diabetes and don't have nerve problems. So if it's a diabetes, everybody who has diabetes would have the same problem. Mm -hmm. So it's the medication, depends on the medication you're taking, but most of the medication for diabetes destroy the nerves. So I've known people who have this diabetes and them walking and they turn right over because the nerves them damage in the feet. And they once the nerve damage, you now they, they lose the strength. And if they lift up anything, it drop out of their hand. So most people who have, uh, have diabetes today haven't started to find so them, 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 have, them have neuropathy, circulation problem. All those foot when I'm called, so you have gangrene, so they have to cut the foot. Be careful, don't cut the foot. Reach out to that, reach out to Brother Moses and see if you can get help. Because we have, we have to be our own doctor. The Bible says, physician, heal thyself. These physicians, can they heal thyself? Then how we are going to them, say them a doctor. Who are we hearing from today? Mm. Is it the Most High or is it, is it Babylon, ourself? Mm. So we have to get control back ourselves. Cancer. Cancer, what causes cancer? Information. Again, we start from in the, in the digestive system. So we have to get there and clean out there. Two main things grow cancer. Starch and blood. So in the minute you take away starch out of your diet and the meat, guess what you do? You put a rope around the cancer throat. I am a cancer survivor. That's where I start this journey. After I have stage three colon so living, cancer. Living testimony. So I'm a living testimony. The spinal problem at the cancer was bent up like this, walking. And it's me treat myself. So almost every sickness otherwise from diabetes where I was telling you about. I treat myself and heal myself. So I'm a living testimony to it. So you can't fake it. You either have it or you don't have it. So cancer, the cancer we are killing the whole world today, is what we're eating. So if we change the environment from, from, from what we're eating, then the cancer will have to go. But, we, but all we're doing, we're taking medication and hoping that cancer will go. Then we take radiation and chemo and most people, it will destroy, not most, but it destroys the immune system. But the immune system is what's supposed to help you fight the cancer. 
So that's why many people who take these treatment cannot survive, unfortunately. So make we try about mama right now. Mm. Go back to the same thing. Because the original, originally all sickness used to treat from nature. Why today everybody believe in a different, different um, ready done system? I'm going to try some original no man. Because remember the medical system coming in the 19th century. But man used to die of creation. Hundreds of thousands of years. Man was here, doctor was here. And medicine were here. So this medical system we're into today. It, it didn't come about, it come about recently. But now it's only it to believe in too. So what, what, what man used to get cured from? Was it not medicine? And is it not the same herbs this system use and put a name on it and brand it and sell people? So why we don't go straight to the source? We have to get back to the original. One love, peace and love every time. So one more question before you go, sir. Yes, sir. No, no, he's a busy man and thing. But um, I know you've been very active here in mm. Ghana since you've been here. Yes, sir. You have really not really have many much time for yourself because you've been you know going around the local people. Yes, and, and healing them and you know mm. educating them yes, about sir. sickness. Mm -hmm. Because one of the things is that here in Africa, especially Ghana, mm. that I can I've seen. Yes, sir. A lot of people don't have knowledge of. Um, diet. They just eat whatever. Yeah, uh, the Africans eat a lot of starch, and and it's killing them. Most Africans today die very young, mm. and most people are not mentally prepared to change the diet because they hope even when they tell them they're, they're no. not ready. It's, it's, it's already not, most of them already sold out on the diet. But they mm. say it's the African food. The most food they eat in here is not the African food, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah, so I and I come here, leave, left America, come here to, do the, to help my brothers and sisters of the continent. I don't come here to look money or to make money. I come to help my brothers and sisters. So I go amongst the small people and I'm here. So even yesterday, they come with a, with a rock tour. And she said, but all this work are you doing, how much would you charge? I said, well, if, I, if, if I was to charge you, you couldn't pay, to be honest with you. So you wouldn't get treatment. You understand me? So if a father, a father look cater for the, for the nobodies mm -hmm. and, the, and, and the little simple people and where we look, look down on. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Mm -hmm. So a man can say do the father work and then he might charge some big money to people where, where, where the people them who have money now, them alone don't get treatment. Mm -hmm. So what about the small people? Them? And them the father cater for them. Because the big man don't need no, if people have their money, don't need nobody to cater for them. True. Them cater, the money cater for them. Yeah. Yeah. So I come, I leave money in America and come here, sleep on the floor, go hungry sometime to do the father work. Because not for we tell, tell people about we love God or I tell the father say we love him, but the father for dumb not for we. Because the devil is a liar and in him there is no truth. You understand me? Because if he says, if you love me, you keep my commandment. And if you love me, you do my will. How much of us are do the Father's will? How much of us willing to leave the comfort zone to come here in Mama Africa and help our brothers and sisters? Mm -hmm. No, and, and today we're running, today we're out on a, on a mission to sell our soul for what? For vanity. Mm -hmm. So as when the Bible rightfully says, it's a what it profit a man to gain in this world, world whole world, world, and lose him one soul. What's that, what, what are we doing today? So. And if our time here is not about helping others, what is, what is the purpose we are here for? Our time here will be wasted. Mm -hmm. If it's not about others, it have to be, if it's not about others, our time here will be wasted. So we can die rich in pocket, but die poor in spirit. True. Peace and love each and every one. Check out the website, Brother Moses Healing Ministry. And you can call me, 954 Nine five five seven nine seven seven. One love, brothers and sisters. Yeah, man, that was Moses himself. <laughs> well done, <laughs> well done, well done, well done. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. The brother, the brother, do some serious work on the ground, you know. Yeah. And you know, we have to, we have to support him work. And like a man said, he was a living testimony. The man is a living testimony. Him not, not only he can only, not only talk about people who. The father touch him for, for treat, but he might talk about him own self. Yeah, I'm still 
stage three colon cancer. Yeah. Yeah. From that day, I'm going to treat myself to the deal. That's where we start the journey for healing yeah. people. Yeah. Because it's like when you say that we're doing work, I, I go to my will, and it's not his will. So, enough for if enough for if enough man come on us and say, Father, send him here. But the Father said, We are in Africa. How we come here in Africa and not to analog ourselves? Is it the Father sent us? Or ourselves? Because when the Father sent us here, if He sent us here, it's a, it cannot be about us, it has to be about others. So we are willing to slay in self. How much of us today willing to give up self to help brothers and sisters? So have they taken any medication for the cancer? Have they taken any medication at all? No. Uh, okay, when you when do the surgery, in the hospital, you definitely have to do them give you what they choose to give you. And one medication I take for myself at the time, new one was coming at me. Wow. And I called my mother and said, hey, so I'm going something in the fridge, I will blend up, can I come for me there? And when I drink it, I don't cough again. The next morning when I wake up, I feel one lump on my throat, and I wonder, what is it? And I start to weigh the spirit, should I swallow it or should I bring it up? And the spirit said, bring it up. When I bring it up, it's a lump, big so yellow. That was it, that was new one. That is why when the boy named um, Corona came out, the father said, Corona can't do your nothing, I give you a cure already and go back right to where I was in the hospital with, 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 with the um, with pneumonia. And I drink that and compound and boom, everything come up. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that is why I could walk in America and tell America, I said, Corona couldn't do me nothing. Everybody looked at me and said, I'm a mad man. But I know something with them, they know. All the church people, them, oh God. The people them scared. And yet they said they are here from Father. No, every sickness is a spirit. Was Corona a spirit, church? Um, my brothers and sisters, is it Corona a spirit? Yes. So if you're in a church, you must know that it's a spirit. So therefore, you cannot mass away a spirit. Mm. Or you can social distance away a spirit. Now you can sanitize away a spirit. If you're in a church, you must know that. So how did how all of us was in the church doing it? I defy everybody in the church. I would not do it. I would not wear a mask in God's house. Because if God, if God is God, if Him can protect me, who can? Who can? That means we are protect ourselves. I said many people decide never to leave their yard in Corona time. But you know what? The little guy with name Corona because he's a spirit. You know what he do? He went to them yard and looked for them. And before you know it, their teeth kick out. So whatever is yours, you can't run from it. So when people would tell you, say, oh, I'm, I'm not going to church because Corona. No. But yet you go to work. <laughs> yet you go to the supermarket. You go everywhere else. But if you go give the Father and worship, we stay out of the yard. We think we can't fool God. I know God, we are full of ourselves. We can't see us. You understand? God no call cowards and call warriors. Where are the warriors of today? Where are the Daniel in the churches of today? Where are the, where are the, where are the, um, the, the Esther? Where are the root of the churches today? Where are the Paul? Where are the Peter? Them, they're outside the church. Because during Corona, in, in a little place they call Jamaica, people, when they say nobody not to keep dance and nobody not to keep no crowd gathering, the people are like out, outside that keep them dance and when police are come they run left all their sound. <laughs> you understand me? <laughs> and yet the church people, them, the people they say they believe in God. They, if they say 10 people in the church, they do well. They so basically, the man in the street that. I, I'm more, I'm more, I, I I'm more warriors than the man in the The people are not in the church, they are not warriors. If they say they're ten, just, they're they're just in a society. They're just in a society. Mm, mm. That's just a society thing. You understand? Mm. Because first thing to come in, when we go to one church, we tell them to me now wear no mask come down to church. Because mm. God in them. Him, 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 him already protect me. So if God in there, you don't need to wear no mask in there. That's the first thing we know. Mm. And plus we know Karana one period. So I think Karana decides he might go visit me. There's no mask on top of it. Look how much people wear masks and they still catch it. Mm -hmm. Some of us, and look how many people sanitize and still catch it. 
So sanitizing and nothing to do with Corona. Because Corona lives in the atmosphere. You understand? So we have to know all these things. But today, today in, 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 when we are talking about ourselves, true child of God, and then you now my a minister preached to me, and he going to tell me about the Bible, and what Peter did say, and what Paul did say, and what Job did say. So, is it God stop speaking today? Is God still speaking to us today? So, why are you telling what Peter, what God said to Peter or Paul? Is it God not talking to you? Tell me what God said to you, you Mr. Pastor. You, you Mr. Minister. Because he talked to all of us. So how we can we talk about when they talk to Paul and Peter say, uh, Esther and uh, 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 Anna. Uh, 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 uh. So why are we not hearing from him today? All we can do is quote scriptures. No, but come to me today and tell me, say, God said to tell you so and so, or God said me to change my evil ways. Because I have need some. Because it was like we come into the church and tell people today, say, oh, we are prophets. And then we say, okay, you're going to get a million dollars. Yet, we don't tell the people, we say, no, God said, clean up your dirty house. Then we, we build it up. No, first you go and say, oh, me a prophesy, you're going to get a car. You are a, you are a foreign. And yet we say, we are prophets. Mm -hmm. What are we today? False prophets. Because any prophet God will send to be, it must be the prophet of repentance. Mm -hmm. So anybody else come with any other message, it's a lie. It's a lie. So today everybody wants prophets. But only prophet God also sent to deal is a prophet of repentance. Where is the repentance prophets to deal? Everybody wants the prophets of, of, of prosperity. And if you now speak prosperity, nobody wants to hear you, mm. unfortunately. But be careful today who lead us in ministries. And you know, church, church, I don't have a problem with people going to a building or socialize or whatever. I don't have a problem because I'm, I'm one who used to do it too. But the biggest church is one we, we want to walk with. So we walk, we, when Sunday, many Sundays when we're in the buildings, we should be outside here looking for our old lady, our little homeless kids, feed them, bathe them. That is ministry. Not in have one building every Sunday or every, as often as possible, jumping, hey, hey, and showing up self. No. God, I look for humble servant. Because today we are not so humble and we're so busy. God don't have time to use us because we're so busy I go after the mighty dollar and selling our soul. So today, my brothers and sisters, make we get back to the go back, go back to the reality, you no know, man. And we are, we are called by the Father and ask him to do something. So but but in, in everything, you know, we have to give up something. Yes, I. So it's not that I'm saying that going to church is wrong. Our pastors are not good. But today, the pulpit has lost as last is we because all, all, all it, it the church now become an organization that collecting collecting from who the poorer people not the rich people the poorer ones and then keep them poorer you understand me? when the church should be an organization helping each and every one of us helping the poor and the less the less less fortunate you understand so i i, I that's where me have a problem today with ministry. So now today we don't even bother go to church. We go in our community, go look for some hungry belly picnic and give them food or we can give them one couple of dollars, we give them and who we can help to go to school, we help and who have medical problems, we help them. Because that's a part of our calling today. One time we used to go in the communities and we live you have a yard where we used to feed picnic, feed big people who don't have and we live as one. Why today everybody become so selfish? That is why I have, have, have two houses, no one, ten houses. You want one house with 50, with 50 rooms. Nothing wrong with that, but one to your brothers and sisters will not have nothing. Yet, yet, yet you call yourself child of God. Would, would, would God do that? I don't think so. It was like a couple of years ago I was at a church, a sister invited me at a church. And the pastor said, we will come up with a big collection. Poor me never have a big collection, me only have five dollars. Then he said, well, he stopped at 20, so I couldn't go in. So he said, all who give money, he will wash them foot, and he will get a big increase. <laughs> so me and one next brother sit down with five dollars and we pack it and we couldn't go up. And then, you know, my father said to me, he said, that pastor, if he was working for me, don't go two foot with a wash, I two man when I have money. 
So all them people there when they wash their food, they will never get an increase because I know me my work for. So we have to know all these things. It's not everything we say in the ministries today is of, is of the Father. Many over my, over my side. Yeah. So many of the things we say today, we say the Father tell us, and not and lie we tell for him. Because the Father is not a taker, he's a giver. So today, as a brother, we're in a, we're in a the faith. I ask my brothers and sisters if we wake up, Zion awake and trim our lamp. We have lost it. We go into church and we pass 15 people go to church. Some are, some are go to church and some are go there, but they go to church. I see them God. So we are passing my vehicle empty. <laughs> Would Jesus do that? I don't think so. You understand me? And so, to the, because God, you know, first thing to come in, God is not a God of religion. I know that. He tells me that. And he's not a God of denomination. Because religion separates the people. God is a God of oneness, togetherness. He's a God of love. Where is the love in us today? Do we have it? And only place you can find it. We can find it externally, we find it internally. So until we find the most I, we can dwell in us. Then we can have love, true love for our brothers and sisters. Where, where that man have something or not have nothing, we still love him and respect him as a human being and treat him as a brother. So peace and love to my sisters and brother. This is Brother Moses, down here in our Mama Africa, giving thanks to the Most High and giving yell up my brothers and sisters and our oneness. Peace and love. Yeah, man. Hold well, on. So, why are you saying that? Imagine some, some chocolate mix, but it, it tastes different. Chocolate, coconut ox. Chocolate, coconut ox. The, the, the little the meat inside the coconut. No, ox. No, the brown part. The outside. The outside. The outside? Yeah, everything, <laughs> everything, the skin. The skin. Me never eat coconut skin in my life. Drink it, man. Drink it. Boy. See, boy, I have a blue for me. I have rosemary. Oh. Rosemary, yeah, blue what? Vervine. Vervine? Vervine. Vervine. Blue vervine. So, my one not honey night. Huh? No, we don't have Okay. All right. Natural. Yes, sir. I said natural, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. I've never. All right. There's a place here in Panama. There's a. What do you call it? At Coco. I never, I never, I never tried it like this before. At first time. Remember when I was young? Mm. And my grandma used to make it. I want the hottest tea. Oh. If you hot and you put them out on that, remember we tell you, it can't cool. It's like an oil. It comes like an oil that drink. Yes. If you want to drink that, burn you up. Yes, man. Because what so, you do is put a little bit of flour so that you keep it. Is it? Yeah. We never tried that one still. This one is first time, because. Yeah. I'm saying, back in the days, even in, even in Nigeria, I'm also like, well, what is it? Why it, it's proper rain outside them and it's serious. In Nigeria, they say I almost feel like the chief them great people. Oh these? Yeah man, uh, and then in and say in uh, uh, America, the American Indians back in those days, you know, the chief is on the top. Okay, them are they are dead and you wish it, you wish they desire it. That's what they do. Ah um, chocolate. And never happened like this. Yeah, well next place down here in Panama. You remember it? Yeah. I want that music to start. I'm giving you every time I come. Yeah, man. Can you see? Uh, like people, if you research, if you research both of them, the, 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 the cocoa, excellent in brain, and the, the, the coconut oil, and so the people who have Alzheimer's dementia, and they recommend medically a teaspoon a day. So, and you know the oil, and this big sticker, and this big sticker, and the oil. I get it 100%. I never, never, never drink it like that before. 
We know you, you normally boil it with milk, mm -hmm. with just the cow's milk, yes, and you, 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 um, yeah, you, you boil it out. It's rich. Yeah, boil it, boil it till it, it, yeah, yeah. it comes like an oil. Right, and then you kill it. You don't boil anything like that, but you kill it, you kill it, you kill it in a lot. Oh, when you boil it, okay. Yeah, the Chinese the the steam is steam ago, this is straight ago, you don't know what I'm going to do. I think all fire don't know what you will fry. Fire, fire, fire. So it burn out yeah. the, where you're supposed to get yeah, yeah, yeah. all the properties where you're supposed yeah, to get.